this is a Bailey Pegasus 554. Just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van, you've got your jockey wheel, hitch, and handbrake. We'll demonstrate these to you in person here on site. In the front locker, you've got two gas bottle tie downs. Um, and the bulkhead, you've got your gas regulator itself. We do have gas pipe work available here on site should you need to buy one. Maximum of two six kilogram propane gas bottles is what you can carry on board the van at any point. Either side of the van at the front, you've got your wind down legs to stabilise the caravan. So you've got the nut here, you'll put your bar on, wind the legs down, or wind them up depending on what you're trying to do. While you're, uh, or when you do this, you would never lift the caravan with the wind down legs, it could potentially damage the floor of the van. You've got a storage locker here at the front, the same on the other side in the same position. In here, you've got an onboard water tank. I'll show you how this works from the inside, but you need to take this out and fill it by the top. Uh, to use it, but like I said, I'll show you how to use the changeover valve inside so it shows you um, so you can see how to use it from the onboard tank. You've then got your Truma heating and hot water flue. You need to remove this cover prior to igniting anything on gas inside the caravan. If you don't remove this cover, it could potentially uh, stop the gas system from igniting or give you a build up of carbon monoxide inside the van if you don't remove it. In the side of the van, you've got your water pump connection or your water pickup pipe connection. You'll push it into the side of the van and lock it into place. And then you've got your pickup pipe that drops inside the ACRA roll itself. We'll show you how to fill the water system on the inside. Then you've got your fridge vents. Fridge vents are very simply there to allow hot out the back of the fridge unit and to take some cool air in. You've got your gas flue uh, for the fridge system on the right hand side. And then you've got your bottom vent as well. Again, just there to allow hot air out the back and to take some cool air in. Motor mover and wheel nuts, we'll actually talk, uh, demonstrate the motor mover to you here on site and we'll talk the wheel nuts so you can see they've been tightened correctly as well. Two grey waste pipes coming out the side of the van after your fresh water when it's, once it's been through the caravan, it'll come back outside the van just here and the two grey pipes go into the larger diameter holes on the side of the caravan. Back of the caravan, you've got your toilet flush tank. This tank here will take three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use. At the bottom, you've got your toilet waste cassette. You pull up the handle and pull the cassette out. The neck here turns out so you can tip the waste away. You've got a measure for your pink and blue fluid here on top. And then you've got an orange pressure relief button on the back of the cassette. So when you're tipping the waste away, it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. On the rear of the van on either side, you've got your wind down legs again. And again, they are just there for stabilising and not lifting the caravan. Come around to the other side of the van, you've got your storage locker underneath the bed at the rear. Um, that's so you can access underneath the bed. We've put a battery on the van just so you can see everything is working as it should. That will be removed prior to the van being taken. And you've got your mains power lead coming to the side of the caravan also. Three pin socket, simply there. So if you want to run power out to your own and you connect it to mains on site, you can actually connect via there. Barbecue gas point and your storage locker for this side of the van at the front. Going on to the inside of the caravan now. As you come in the door on the left hand side, you've got your voltmeter at the top, interior lights, awning light, master power switch and water pump. I'll come back to the water pump in a moment. Master switch needs to be on for all 12 volts and 240 system, uh, two, 240 volt and 12 volt systems to work inside of the caravan. Underneath the seat on the left hand side front of the van, you'll find your leg winder and your motor mover engagement bar. But you'll also find your 12 volt fuses for the caravan on the left hand side here and you'll see which each one for with this list on the right hand side and then you've also got your uh, 240 trip switches now to test to see if you've got power coming to the caravan you would hit the test button just here if that switch trips down as it has done now on the end here it means there is mains power coming into the van if you press the test switch and the test switch doesn't trip down it means there is no mains power coming into the caravan from the site you are on just a little tip for you if you ever if you're ever not sure when you are on site. The first thing we're going to do is once we've checked the powers on, etc., and we made sure we've got power coming into the caravan, is to fill the water system on board the van. So on the right hand side of the caravan, just here, underneath the front seat area, I've actually lifted everything up uh, just so you can see everything. We've got a yellow drain down valve just here. Now when that's parallel with the floor as it is at the moment, you'll actually be able to fill the onboard water system. 
If that valve was upright and pointing towards the bottom of the seat, it would drain all of the water out of the caravan on onto the floor underneath. On the right hand side here, you'll see you've got a blue valve. Now at the moment, this blue valve is set up to run directly from the, uh, the external water tank. So basically the ACK roll. If you want to run from that onboard water storage tank that I showed you in the front corner of the van, you need to spin this blue valve round all the way around to this side. And that will allow you to run from the onboard water tank. The one that's just behind that panel there, but you have to access it from the outside. But like I said, um, if you want to run it from there, you would have to turn this valve to this position. You'd fill the systems in the same way, regardless of whether you run it from the ACK roll on the outside or the, uh, the water storage tank underneath the seat. So you then come over to every tap on board the caravan once you've got them valves in the position you want them to be. Open all the taps up on the hot side. As you can see, I've already got water in the system. I'm just going to let that run out of pressure. As you can see, steaming away, so you can see it's working as it should. But all the taps are open on the hot side. Once they're open, come over to the control panel by the door. Turn on the water pump. And once the water system's got enough pressure through it, you'll see you have water running out of every tap continuously on board the caravan. Once you're at that point, you can actually then shut off all the taps on board the caravan and the water system is full. You'll notice that the pump keeps running for a few seconds. It's just to top back up the onboard water storage tank so it doesn't run dry. On the, uh, work, just above the worktop on the left hand side of the sink, you'll actually see you've got two switches. The bottom one here is for your electric water heater. So if that switch is pressed down, the electric water heater will kick in and that's what we're currently running the water system from. Above that, you have your option to run the gas water heating. You will need to use the gas as a boost for when you're showering on board the caravan also. To, to, to get the gas system to ignite with the gas bottle turned on, you'll spin the dial round to the flame symbol. A green light will appear to let you know it's trying to ignite. But that green light is also your pilot light. In a moment, it's going to fail right on cue. The red light has appeared to let me know it has failed to ignite. Like I said, when you are trying to shower on board the caravan, you do need to use the gas as a boost. Uh, the electric system on its own isn't powerful enough to heat the water quick enough for when you are showering. Like I said, the green light is your pilot light. However, whichever number is above the green light is the temperature the water heater will warm up to on gas. The electric side is a preset temperature so you won't have control over that. On the opposite side of the caravan, on the right hand side as you come in the door, you'll see you've got two more switches. Now the switch here is for your electric room heater. You need to have that turned on there. Then above it, you have your controls for the heating. So you've got 500, 1000 or 2000 down the side of here, and that relates to the amount of power coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on. You'll spin the dial to the relevant power source, on the right hand side then you'll control the water temperature uh, the, sorry the heating temperature on this dial in the center obviously the higher you go with the number and that's the number that's above the green light is the temperature the heater will warm up to turn the heater back off with gas you spin it around to the off position just here and if you wanted to you could turn the power off here so it's not drawing extra power through the van Below that you have the heater itself. Now the heater, like I said, will run on electric or it will run on gas. Down the front of the heater you'll actually see a pilot light window and to get it to ignite you'll simply spin the dial around on top. The 12 volt piezo igniter will kick in. Hold down the gas valve and once it is ignited you'll have a pilot light in this window down the front. After 5 to 10 seconds of it being ignited you'll slowly release the gas valve and you'll be able to control the temperature of the heater on the dial on top. On the right, right hand side top of the heater, you've got your options for your how your heating actually heats the van. The dot in the centre here will indicate heat coming out the front of the heater. The wave symbol on the left hand side will allow the heat to come out the vents around the caravan and that is called blown air heating. If you put it onto the A on the right hand side, again it will allow the heat to come out the, the heaters around the van, uh, the vents around the van. However, that will be an automatic blown air, so essentially it cuts in and out with the thermostat on board the caravan. So that is your heating and hot water systems. The fridge is very simple to use. 
you've got an off position at the top here. 240 volt uh, fridge on the plug symbol, and then you control the temperature of the fridge on this dial on the right hand side. 12 volt mode when you're towing down the road, so the fridge works as a cool box, you can select the 12 volt mode. The temperature control at that point won't actually do anything at all. Then at the bottom, you've got the option to run gas. So you can select the gas option. To get the fridge to ignite on gas, you're holding the temperature control and hit the igniter at the same time. Once the fridge is ignited on gas, this little orange line that you see here will come round into the green, but you'll need to continue to hold the gas valve once that orange line is in the uh, orange line is in the green. And after five to 10 seconds again, you can slowly release the valve and just make sure the fridge is still ignited on gas if that's the way you're trying to run the fridge. Again, you'll control the temperature of the fridge on this dial on the front. Microwave, hob, grill and oven will all work very much the same as your household appliances. Obviously, the hob, grill and oven will only work off gas and the microwave will only work off 240 volt. Going through into the bathroom of the caravan now. And the last thing we go through on this particular van is the toilet system. On the toilet, you have an electric flush just here. You have your toilet full indicator light that lets you know when the toilet waste cassette is completely full. The toilet seat itself turns for your convenience so that you can essentially get comfortable on the loo. However, when you're removing the cassette from underneath the van, you need to make sure it's back in the central position as it is now. Then down below the toilet, you have your gray waste flap. You need to push the waste handle over so the waste goes into the cassette underneath the van. And then when the toilet flaps in the central position, that will be the toilet flap shut off. However, you do need to make sure that is in that central position before you remove the cassette from underneath the van, because it's very much the same as the toilet seat. It will lock the cassette in place. So that is the Bailey Pegasus 554. If you have any further questions on the caravan, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the caravan company, and we'd be more than happy to help. We appreciate your business, and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you collect the van. Bye-bye.